All right, welcome back. You may have that room in your home that's just kind of there. It really doesn't have a personality. It needs some help. Well, interior designer Karen Mills, or Karen Mills is here with the ways to take any room from blah to beautiful. Uh, so welcome. Welcome back Thank to Better you. Kansas City. Now, Thanks first off, me. what do you mean by a color story? Because that's one of the things we need to start, with, start off with is a color story. So you need to tell a color story. Okay. And the way you do that is you pick a primary accent color and then other colors that you want to play into it. But that primary accent color is actually what takes you through the room. Okay. So it draws you from place to place to place in the room. So draws this is your eye through the room. This isn't necessarily the wall color we paint, but this is going to be the accent color like off of the pillow that's on the couch yes. or the dish that's on the wall. So for example, here in this picture, where is your primary accent or where is your, well, your accent color that you're working the with The pillows, here? the artwork. So the artwork was the inspiration. That's actually a mm -hmm. piece of wood that's painted. Um, with a hidden TV, but you'll see the vase on the hearth. Yeah. You'll see the pillows. That kind on of the lighter chairs. blue, Robin's and egg so blue. So that beautiful or blue, that mm -hmm. watery blue. Same thing here in this great room we did those curtains, mm -hmm. the drapes, and the artwork bringing in that blue accent color and it really brings the whole room together and draws and your eye around the room. This is the sec we did at an outdoor segment with uh, a designer here the other day and she brought in that blue and that orange and I really like the way that looks. I wouldn't think that just blue and orange, so I don't have the color in mind for it, but then when you see it in front of you, it looks fantastic there. Well, they're complementary colors, yeah. so when you put them together, it creates a, a tension. I actually have those in my hearth area in my home, and it just it's really fun. Yeah, so what additional uh, suggestions do you have when we're looking to add add color to our homes aside from those accent colors? Should we look at, for maybe just example, wall color, or uh, what, other, what other things should we be looking at for that? Well, we should be thinking about the carpeting, mm -hmm. the drapes, the wall color, the furniture, everything in the room and how it's put together okay. because most rooms are just blah they're just neutral like someone goes out and buys a bunch of furniture but then they don't know how to add the rugs the drapes mm. the pillows the throws the accessories that the accessories, really bring it together yeah. and then lighting is another way that we really can really add a pop to a room what are some of your suggestions and how to how to light a room that's really going to brighten it up or <laughs> that was kind of a joke but not really right but brighten a joke but also you know just add so there's so many be, different ways to do it, it seems. Yeah, so here, as you can see, the, the light fixture mm -hmm. is the focal point of the room. There's yeah. thousands of crystals in that. It's shaped kind of like a snail. It's a, it's a Schoenbeck hmm. chandelier. So it's all crystal, and it really just grabs your attention. It draws you into the room. But then you also want to use lamps, accent lighting, right? Okay. And general lighting. So that the lamps really give the ambiance. It's kind of like walking into a restaurant. Yeah. It sets the mood. So the lamps are really doing that in this room. And then we're going to go to the library next, I think. For yes. The next. And I love the lighting on the shelves in this picture. I mean, it obviously highlights everything that, that the shelves contain and just really sets that apart. And we did that um, when LED was first starting to come yeah. out. And we lit the shelves, which is very tricky when you have a dark room and dark shelves mm -hmm. to get enough light but everything just glows and see how it just changes yeah. everything in the room. It goes from a dark, dark room, almost cave-like to actually having some ambiance and some warmth to it. Are those LED strips on the back of those columns or is it a horizontal strip? Like, They're how did you, hidden how did you put vertically those? and they have covers on them so you don't see the little tiny bulbs. Okay. So they're, and then they're controlled by remote control. Oh. So you can just hit the button and they come on. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so lighting really makes the room. Yeah, and then finally we have to touch on accessories. What, why should we group our accessories together? Because that's going to give you more impact. So so many times I'll see accessories spread out in a mm -hmm. row like, like a group of 10 soldiers, right? Yeah. And they don't really have impact. But if you do something, and I, I, I always say to clients, do short and squatty <laughs> and tall and thinner in the back because that gives you a little more interest. Okay. And you can group three or five or four, it doesn't matter, but mix things up so it tells a story in the grouping. Okay, so, so we can do, so, like, so the short st on the table here, but then behind us have those taller, skinnier pieces. Or even have it all together, you know, in one spot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Well, very interesting. Karen, thank you very much. Those are great ideas. I'm actually looking forward to going home. As you know, we just got a new house. I really want to figure out how to decorate it the right way. I'm going to take those ideas, see if I can get out of here with one of these tables, too. Anyway, <laughs> Karen, Good thank idea. you very much. Belinda, over to you.